driver of the car was not hurt. Well, standardized testing will be happening this year for students in grades three through eight, despite calls from the state to have it waived. But with the pandemic, we could expect even less participation. Ericetta Cost is live at Henry Hudson School 28 with much more on this. Good morning, Ericetta. Good morning, Leah. Well, students can expect shorter tests. They only have to take section one multiple choice. But one of the biggest changes, according to Superintendent in Gananda, is that there's going to be less stress and less emphasis on actually taking the test. The reason has to do with the fact that the U.S. Department of Education removed high stakes to meet participation rates. We are not being required to meet um, percentages of participation. We're not being we're not being told we have to have those participation percentages met. He says we've also been in a pandemic for over a year now. That's an additional weight on families that could contribute to more parents opting their students out than ever before. We expect more refusals. We expect students to be absent. We expect students to refuse the test. Um, and we're not going to take the measures we took in the past to address that. Van Scoy says he's glad the tests weren't waived. It's important to get a sense of where students are at. But other forms of assessing performance are now taking a rise locally, and each district is handling it differently. Districts like Gananda and Greece use an online system called iReady to measure growth. Megan Harris is a special education teacher with the Rochester City School District who's frustrated the tests are happening this year and says teachers need to meet students where they're at. When you look at a pool of people that you're looking at, you need a very large pool in order to get a better understanding of what your results are. So now the pool is extremely restricted. And according to Van Scoy, from his point of view, if we don't administer the tests at least, we could very well not know where students stand performance-wise until spring of 2022. So for now in Rochester, Eric Hedda Costs, News 8. All right, a lot of people talking about that. Eric Hedda, thank you for the update.